the NFP will know in a short while whether or not they can contest the local polls. A full bench of the Electoral Court is currently deciding the fate of the party. Now, they reserved judgment earlier today. The party failed to meet the IC payment deadline to register and, embarrassingly, a cheque they issued subsequently bounced. <laughs> While party supporters gathered outside, inside, arguments continued. The NFP asked the court to order the IEC to review its decision. It says its treasurer, Kolan Indlovu, failed to pay deposit to the IEC on time. The party alleges political sabotage. The NFP also attempted to convince the court to allow it to vote in KwaZulu Natal only. Its majority is from that province. The IEC argued this would be unconstitutional and would require an amendment to the Electoral Court impossible to accomplish before the poll. The NFP remained a bid. We will consult our structures and see what will be the way forward because this is not a last election. In two and a half years from now there will be an election In also in five years to come there will be also a very election that will come. Supporters are at demand they won't vote if the NFP cannot contest the election. If we're not going to vote, no one going to vote in KZN. We want to vote, that's all. We want our right to vote. We're asking the court to review its decision because over a million people will be denied their right to vote. The application was supported by all major parties excluding the IFP, which was in court to oppose the NFP. The NFP has dismissed speculations that this may be the end of the road for the party. They are prepared to go back and prepare for the 2019 national elections. Muntlingani Dipoko, SABC News, Johannesburg.